Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Chris Titus Text Windows Utility to make Windows better. Open your browser, type Chris Titus Utility and go to the first GitHub page that shows up. Now scroll down till you see the stable branch command section. Copy the command and after that go to search bar. In the search bar, type Windows PowerShell and open it as administrator. Now just paste the command and wait till the utility pops up. Just to be clear, this is not an installation of any tool or app. This utility runs directly from Chris Titus website through your PowerShell. And there we go, we successfully run Chris Titus utility on our PC. If something doesn't scale up properly, you can double click any blank space to maximize and minimize the window. As you can see, there are five tabs named install, tweaks, config, updates, and micro in. We will go through each and every one in this video, but let's start with install. On this tab, there are all kinds of apps and tools that you can install to your PC without even browsing through the internet. For example, let's say we want to download 7-Zip. All we have to do is to check the box next to it and click on Install Update Selected. If we switch to PowerShell, we will see everything that is going on while it installs it. If we click on Start button, we can see that 7-Zip is installed. Now let's try with Chrome. As before we can see the progress of installation in the PowerShell window. And the Chrome is now also installed. If you're someone who sets up a lot of different computers and you're planning on using this utility to help you save a lot of time, what you can do is go through and select all the different apps that you would normally install on a computer. So for example, let's say I want to install Chrome, 7-Zip, Discord, and VS Code on every computer that I set up. Then you can go and click on the gear icon and then click on export. Now you can save this named as installation and I'm just going to save it on the desktop. Now you have this JSON file so you can save it on a USB flash drive so you always have access to it on different computers. You can see that if we click on import and select the JSON file, it will automatically select all of the apps that we selected before. This JSON file keeps the data not only from install tabs but all your choices from all the tabs so make sure you make one in the end. Now let's go to the second tab. Now what you can do on the tweaks tab is go and click on the standard button and it will select some options for you. You can keep all the selected boxes as they are or you can check them all if you know what you are doing. I'm just going to uncheck the disable hibernation box and check the deep bloat edge box. If you hover over these tweaks, it gives you a little tool tip of what this will do. So you can safely choose what you want disabled and what not. If you scroll down you can see some advanced tweaks. From there you can also disable and remove some advanced options. I'm just going to disable Torito and remove Microsoft Copilot. When you're done, click on Run Tweaks to apply the changes you made. 
Switch to PowerShell to see the progress of your tweaks. All you have to do is to wait for the process to be completed. Now on the right side you can see some preferences for you windows. You can enable whatever fits to your preference. I will only choose to show fall extensions and center the taskbar home. After that I'm going to click on add and activate ultimate performance profile. In this way. If you go to Power Options in the Control Panel, you can see an added power profile for the ultimate performance on your PC. Now to the next tab. On the Config tab, you can install some Windows features like Windows Sandbox and Virtualization. You can also reset Windows updates and network and scan your hard drive to find corrupted files that may cause errors to your computer. From the right side you can access the legacy control panels like Control Panel, Network Connections Panel and stuff like that. On the Updates tab, you can choose between three options. These are the default settings, the security settings, and the disable all updates. I'm going to go with the default but you can also try the security settings. If you choose the second option, the feature updates will be delayed by 2 years and the security updates will be installed every 4 days. On the last tab, you are given the opportunity to make your own stripped down Windows ISO file. You must only download a Windows 10 or 11 ISO file and insert it in the utility, and you can build your own Windows ISO. And that's it guys. Exit the utility and the PowerShell. Then restart your computer and enjoy your enhanced Windows experience.